Good morning, everyone. This is Jomar Hilario. Hello, Richie. Hello, Cecilia. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Ryan. Thank you very much for joining tonight live for our webinar, The Six Letters You Need to Remember to Create Autopilot Income from the Web, plus a massive, massive bonus, which we will not finish tonight, is you will learn all about the confusion, excitement surrounding Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. I'm pretty sure if I explain to you the blockchain, uh, you will be say, scratching your head and all that stuff, but we're gonna try to give you, I have a very long list here of 13 questions you should be asking yourself if you are tempted to invest in these. Wow, such a fabulous thing. It's a Bitcoin or bit something there or other. But a lot of people are already attracted to it and, and I'm hearing from people who should know better, no? members of of financial literacy groups i'm hearing from them that ang yaman kuna stuff like that uh, you know they, they're saying that they're rich because of the their coin investment and stuff like that and they should know better because uh they should have at least asked i'm hearing from them personally which means i am really finding it weird that these people have not even bothered to ask somebody who understands the stuff uh, before investing in it because it's weird uh, you attend the seminar and you think that's enough and that's probably the, the worst way you can part with your money for investment okay so uh, can i have a show of hands you are here because of autopilot income or you are here because of bitcoin blockchain and coin coin say that in the chat room please let us know let me know and Please, I also promise to tell you that next week we're going to do even more in-depth on the, this situation called blockchain or Bitcoin phenomena, which seems to be attracting lots of people, specifically you guys, okay? By the way, if very, very few are interested in the you know, autopilot, I'll just discuss Bitcoin, you know? There's a ton of stuff to discuss in Bitcoin, tons. Hindi kaya ng one hour, or actually kahit four hours, hindi kaya because uh, yeah okay now okay i'm gonna give you some a short introduction to myself then we're gonna plunge into whatever it is and whatever it is you're interested in i do encourage you guys to please be offended yeah and let my let your comments be known you know if you are hurt because of the stuff i say please be um express your hurt yeah okay hello yeah and if you're happy with what you hear, then please express your happiness. Okay, man. Just be fair. If you have invested in Bitcoin or blockchain before and you don't like what you're hearing, please leave the webinar. Oh, okay, ba? <laughs> because I'm just going to be honest with you. I've uh, known about Bitcoin for a while, uh, a few years already, actually, a few years now. And my opinion then and my opinion today same same actually i haven't talked about uh, the coin coin phenomenon because i didn't think it was something worth talking about but i will be talking about uh you know autopilot income because that's the title right but because you know what because of the demand apparently apparently you guys love to invest your money in strange things if you tell me no i don't know who you are yes uh who are you <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> uh yeah i'm laughing apparently bitcoin autopilot and uh Blocking. They're all, all means of earning from the internet, according to people. So that's what we're going to discuss today. These are my success stories in the realm of online marketing. If these people are investing in blockchain currencies, I have no idea. Okay? No endorsement at all. So I teach people from using workshops. I teach people using seminars. I teach uh, OFWs. I teach uh, single moms, single dads. Um, or BPO employees. My most of the people I teach are actually age 30 to 40. Okay. Those who are in their 20s, they're probably still busy working. 
Okay, so, and one of the things I always say is that you could work at home in three months' time, but the benefit of working from home are all the other things that you can do since you are at home. I'm the author of the book, Virtual Careers, and the author of the workbook, How to Start Your Virtual Careers, which I've done in two different events here in Manila. Uh, I have been a uh, silent partner to Brother Bo Sanchez for uh, more than ano ba, more than 10 years now. I've been the quiet, uh, behind-the-scenes guy doing online marketing for Brother Bo for a very long time. Panahon pa ng Friendster and Multiply. Okay? So, there. Okay, so that's my introduction to myself and I do public speaking as well. Okay? I got tons of YouTube, YouTube videos in case you're interested and you're saying, who, who, can I, who can help me earn money from the internet? I think I have 400 approximately public videos. I have even more private videos. And to get to the private videos, you need to be a member of the Virtual Careers Academy, which is my lesson or lecturing base. Okay? But the first step you can do in, if you want to really learn from the internet, earn from the internet, is get the book Virtual Careers. Uh, can I tell you a secret? Can, you, can we start with a secret? Is that okay? Uh, there is a website. Here's a, here's a secret. Okay. There is a website you can go to. I'm going to type it in today. And this is the first secret. Um, um, okay. I'm going to give you the first secret. This website will have a discount for Virtual Careers starting tomorrow, because tomorrow's Brother Bo's birthday. So tomorrow, if you go to jhilary.com slash VC ebook, okay, virtual careers ebook, you can order the physical book for a discount. They have delivered to your house, or you can get the ebook for a discount as well. So that's the first secret. No? So when is it going to happen? Tomorrow, because that's Brother Bo's birthday. And um, to when? Only tomorrow. Okay? So... God bless and get your discounted virtual careers book for those who are beginning or want to give this book as a gift to your loved ones. Okay, let's begin. Is this me? I page not found. Ah, kasi mali yung nilagay page. Sandali ah, pasensya na dyan ha. It's this one. May word na get. Get this to you. Let me check it first before I, I give it to you. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Um, kuha ko lang tamang address. Wait, I'm gonna give you the correct address. Correct address to get discounted books, ebooks. Uh, I'm telling you this link. Um, that will also give you discounted books for all of Brother Bo's books. Okay? For Brother Bo's books, you get discounted ebooks and discounted books tomorrow because it is his birthday. Please don't forget to greet him. Matatabunan naman yung greetings nyo. Because of the tons of people attempting to greet him, right? So, yeah, I just contradicted myself, sort of. But that's okay, right? That's okay. I think that's okay. Okay? And finally, <laughs> finally, I just want to show you some, some people I'm proud of. No, I have I have a hearty queen earning $60 an hour. Um, Michael DeSantos earning $25 an hour. Um, si... Uh, Kasi Andrea earning eighteen dollars an hour. These are my students uh, who are in Upwork and they have uh, been earning online for the last for several years. Okay, and just wanna end with that because um, wow, who wants to earn that? No, who wants to earn a uh, kind of money like that? So if you that's you, I hope you you stick around and learn. So let's gonna let's gonna discuss. We're gonna discuss tonight. Yung ano, sabili, ah, let me find the mind map. Because I'm, I'm not gonna repeat this mind map. I did the mind map last week of how to do all the pilot incomes. I'm just gonna go to the one part of it. Uh, I'm gonna go to one part of it. So here it is. Sandali lang. Ito. Here it is. I'm gonna zoom it in so you're like, you can see it, right? A bit. Well, not so much. So you can zoom. I, I'll zoom it in for you. So the setup is just like this. Very, very simple. The, it has three parts. Uh, autopilot income means that your client who's probably relying on public speaking 
or selling of books or or uh, or launching of courses meaning there's an email course out there and they're they're really um, telling people to buy and there's a deadline and all that stuff you just ignore all that stuff okay I will have great respond can you guys hear me I'm I'm now talking about autopilot income I just grabbed the mind map I did last week and I'm, we're gonna go through it a little bit more if you don't mind okay just uh, overview again this is this is enough this is yeah this is uh <laughs> this is just a review okay of what I discussed last week because uh, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't discuss it this week because it's going to be easier for you to understand the autopilot setup. The first thing about the setup is the uh, traffic source. You, you need to automate the traffic source. Okay, it's autopilot because the traffic source or the, or the people visiting that site is not going to be based on, uh, let's say, existing clients of your of your client, no existing customers of your client. So hindi pwedeng uh, okay, matagal ng relationship nila, ganun. hindi necessarily ganon. Ang importante, uh, there is a automated means for you to bring those people to see an offer. So you must have an automated traffic source. So that's the first part. Here. Let me zoom in. So you can, Appreciate. So there is an online traffic for or for or online visitors. Okay. Okay. So there must be a constant number of traffic coming to this uh, to the to your website or the offer. Now it should be very clear from the last meeting that the this online source is not new. So we sabi nga hindi naman po bago now most of the traffic can be created by buying facebook ads sabi nga uh, yes facebook ads pwede yan you can buy traffic in facebook tama di ba i mean it's nothing it's not unique okay, it's not unique really okay. by the way if you're expecting a complicated setup it's not okay you're going to be super disappointed and that's great because the setup is so brang simple, there has to be uh, somebody that's you who knows how to set up a Facebook ad. So, who, how many of you have the experience of running a Facebook boost post? Daniel, boost post? Hindi boostos. Boost post. So, a boost post is an example of an automated traffic source. As long as you make it run like tagal. A few months, a few weeks, kanyan. then you can do that for the client. So run a boost. There are 2 billion people uh, in Facebook nowadays. And how many of you near here knows how to create a Facebook ad? Hindi na boost post. A Facebook ad. Okay. A Facebook ad is actually a more efficient way to do it. Okay. Nakakita na ba kayo ng boost post? Nakakita na kayo ng mga post na binuboost ng ibang tao na these are people na hindi mo naman friends pero nag appear sila sa newsfeed mo sa Facebook. Okay, so that's one. Facebook advert ads is one simple source of uh, you know of automated traffic now let's go back to the mind map chat musically whatsapp Ways, Viber, all these can be sources. Actually, some of these have built-in ad platforms. May pwede kang bumili ng, pwede kang mag-boost post dito sa mga ito. And you could make people visit a single website, which is where the 
your client is selling his product. Let's say the product is a book, a course, a meditation, CD, mga uh, ganyan. Okay? So it's very simple. Just learn how to drive traffic using advertisement. Very simple. Um, to buy traffic using advertisement is actually a long topic, but the simplest version would be a post post. Can everybody type in the word post post in case somebody's asking for what to Let me post sa Facebook. Bigyan mo ng credit card details ng Facebook and so, i-guide ka ni Facebook anong gusto mong gawin sa, sa, sa post. Because that's how it works, man. That's how it works. <laughs> may, may mga posts sa Facebook na halap, you should boost this post, blah, blah, blah. And if you see that, that's your post. No? And you can just click on the boost post and that's it. Now, okay, that's not my topic for the day. Just in case, you know, you're you're wondering the good topic na pakita sa inyo paano mag boost post because our topic is when you create that boost post what's the point of ano okay let, let me show you a boost post wala lang because it's very important that before we go to the our main topic so let me show you a boost post wala lang So, there's a boost post here, okay? So, pag hindi ko yung boost post na yan, I can buy this one. I can buy this one to make this one appear in uh, people who like the page, people who are World Summit participants, and all that stuff, okay? People you choose to targeting, which is people living in Quezon City, Metro Manila, ages 18 to 65. And I can set the budget. For example, ang budget ko hindi ganyan kataas, $20 lang. And um, make it run, for example, for 14 days. It becomes an automated thing because you make it run for a long time. Okay, you can also make it run probably longer than that. I'm not sure how long. Halimbawa, yeah. Pwede naman hanggang November. Sa tatasad ko lang yung budget. You get me? And this is where you plug in your credit card. So the message that will appear is this. Um, are you stuck? I'm gonna give you something practical, unlock a door that will make you move from being stuck to starting to moving forward in your life. I'm gonna invite you to say, I don't know more often, something, something, something. So our lesson for today centers on the text in this post. Because if you don't know what to write here for your client, then your 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 boost post will not work. It it will not drive people to buy products. So here's a question I need you to answer. Do you want to learn what words to use, what ideas to use, what images to use in the post? Para yung autopilot mo that. Because this is the most critical. Okay? I'm gonna give you some really, really obvious examples. Your client is selling meditation. DVDs. Halimbawa, DVDs na may kasamang downloadable. And tinatarget niya mga stress na ano, na CEOs and presidents and vice presidents. Right? So, yung stress na CEO and vice president, gusto niya talaga ng, mahilig talaga siya sa meditation when you look on online. So, may, may match, right? There's a good match. CEO who is stressed, likes meditation, will probably buy a meditation, you know, uh, you know, a meditation product from you, from the client. You get me? Remember, I'm pretty sure it's math or oh, six letters. We're gonna talk about the six letters you need to remember to match the boost post with the whatever you're trying to say. Now, this is not just in boost post because pagdating sa ways, hindi naman boost post ang ginagamit. Okay, so ways uh, you can buy ads in ways. Do you know that? In ways, yung nag, yung turo kung paano sa kamag-drive sa, sa Maynila. 
So there's six letters. I'm going to go through them and give you examples. And that's our main topic for the day, which is before we go into our favorite. I'm interested in the six letters. Okay. Okay. Uh, type nyo, type nyo naman. I'm interested in the six letters. So I'm gonna go through this extremely quick. Wala lang, kasi gusto ko. <laughs> gusto ko lang. I just wanna go through it quickly. So we can go to your favorite topic, the Bitcoin. Okay. Can I ask you something? Sino may gusto ng ano? Sino mas gusto ang ano? Consi ah, sorry. Sino mas gusto ang Bitcoin discussion kesa autopilot? Lagay niyo yan, autopilot greater than Bitcoin, Bitcoin less than autopilot. Sige nga, lagay niyo nga yan. Uh, I'm just curious because, you know, biglaan lang yung Bitcoin na yan eh. Which means I didn't really intend to teach you that because in my mind, oh no, bala kayo. Alam <laughs> ganun, alam ganun yung in my mind. Pero ganun. We can be wrong, but I did spend a good amount of time understanding this thing, right? You know that I studied the Bitcoin uh, algorithm? Actually, the blockchain algorithm, I studied it. I explain to you in a technical way how, how it works using programmer language because, surprise, I'm a C programmer. So, you know, I can do that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> surprise. Okay, so. Okay, so ito, ito magagamit ito sa lahat. Sa lahat ng gagawin ninyo. Kasi once you get the attention, everybody type the word, attention equals influence. Once you get the attention of people using these six letters, these six triggers, then, yeah, as a room, pwede. Then you can uh, do a autopilot thing for your client. Once you get this stuff um, well in your brain. You need to understand that to get attention is a series of formula stuff. Okay? Sa, sa internet kasi ang hilap kumuha ng attention. We are, paki, paki confess, we are actually, na, na, nananakaw ang attention natin na napakadaming bagay sa internet and these are, uh, paki aminin na, sabi mo, Repeat the words if you agree that these steal our attention, but they don't necessarily make us buy. They just steal our attention. Something extremely humorous or nakakatawa, it steals your attention. It gets your few seconds in Facebook. Yes or no? Something really funny. How about something really clever? Mga nagpaparkour, yan. It gets your attention. Yes or no? Like, like yan. Funny, clever, okay, yan. They, you don't necessarily buy anything like rubber shoes for parkour, right? But you, you do get that and they get your attention. And if they were to sell you something, I'm not sure if they you will buy. When you see magic tricks, you know, magic tricks online, niba, it gets your attention. And the, you spend like three minutes watching the magic tricks. But after that, you don't buy anything. And even if they sold you something about magic, you probably will not buy it, okay? How about something brand new? Like it tulad niyan, yung Bitcoin na yan. Or new coin. Ayaw mo ng Bitcoin, new coin na lang. <laughs> that gets your attention, right? If it's something new, uy, curious, maganda yan, pagkakakitaan yan. Magkano ba ang payout dyan? Meron ka bang proof? Yan. Yan ang gusto ng tao. 
Okay? Um, somebody displaying great talent, it gets your attention, right? Ang galing mag-piano, ang galing mag-drums, ang galing mag-sayaw, ang galing mag-contort ng katawan, ang galing mag-dive, all those great things, talents and skills that defies imagination, you like that. Ito pa isa, I'm pretty sure you get the attention. Pero remember, if you watch these things, you're, hindi ka madrive bumili. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, you're clever, right? Ang galing mag-contort ng katawan. But I'm never gonna study that. And if they, if they sold me a course on contortionism, they got my attention, but they didn't, you know, they did not... that sort of influence, okay? Hindi yung attention lang. Kasi pag attention lang, uh, hindi naman bumibili ang mga tao. Right? And some other things is, have you ever watched yung, yung pag nagluluto sila, tas they put some, ang bilis-bilis, they put some colored things on a bowl, and then they mix it, within three seconds, meron ng peanuts, tas they put it in a, in a uh, cloth, and then pipisain nila, so out comes this fancy cake. Have you seen that? And you're, when you were watching it, at the end, did you really want to buy a cake? Yes or no? Did you really want to buy a cake? Or did you just get your attention? Pero it was meaningless because uh, hindi ka naman bumili. I mean, for a client, if you create a, cli a video like that for a client, you, you get the attention. Ang tanong, did you get the sale? Clients will want you to get the sale, not just the attention. Actually, kung hindi ka naman gumawa ng magic trick or a food video, um, as long as you get the sale, the client will be happy. Yes or no? Actually, if it's going to be your product, the client will be happy. Yes? See, I mean, your product, you will be happy because nakuha mo yung sale. So, huwag tayo masyado maingit sa mga humor, clever, mean, um, ang galing-galing nila. Yung actually, ang, ang skill na i-display dun sa pag nag, nag, nagluluto, nagluluto. Nakita na ka ng video na gano'n, nagluluto. Na ang bilis, grabe. Sa, ano, sa, sa Facebook. Hindi ba kayo na, ano, na, nababali mo, wow, nakaka-inspire naman sila. Ang gusto, ang sarap pa To them, you're a view, right? So we're not going there. We're going to go to very simple six letters that will help us create influence that makes people buy. Are you ready? Okay. Tinanggal ko na lang yung mga iniisip nyo na hindi naman ako magaling gumawa ng video, yung mga nangyayon, or stuff like that. You really don't need to be good at making videos and stuff. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to the first letter. The first letter, mga life hacks, ang ganda eh, di ba? Pero, di mo magamit yung See, is something you don't really expect. I'm gonna show you some, I'm gonna tell you some. The so first letter is letter C, obviously. And it's from the word consistency, okay? Tandaan yung first letter, consistency. Consistency is very, very uh, small. Everybody type the word, little things matter. The little things matter. And there's so many little things that matter. And those little things, uh, tayo as people, we don't really mind those things. The consistency, I'm gonna give you a real world example. So, nag-apply ko for work, okay, in a, in a corporate setup, right? And you forgot, of all things, to brush, hindi yung shoes, hindi yung teeth, to brush your shoes. So, uh, nagamit mo nga pala tong shoes na to nung umulan na malakas last week. So, it's really kind of dirty, right? So, pag apply mo gano'n, nakita mo, wala ka namang iniiwang tracks. Pero pag tingin mo sa mga kasama mo sa application, yun, yun, sa HR, ikaw lang ang may maduming sapatos. Tabi mo, no, 
nobody will care, right? And and then the first thing you notice is um, ikaw ngayon tingin ang tingin sa sapatos mo, right? Small things. And then because of your nervousness of your sh- about your shoes, it sh- it goes out, lumalabas. And napapansin ng interview that something's wrong, tinignan kang mabuti, nakita, ah, dumi na sa paas. And they make a, a simple, 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 um, tag mo dito, judgment based on your lack of hygiene. <laughs> Pagdating sa sapato. Can I show you a very simple one? Online. Okay lang online. Okay. I'm gonna show you something which I am guilty of because it's uh, it's, non, it's not very, you know, it's not very simple to accomplish. Okay? Okay, hindi ko mapakita, nakakainis. Ayaw mag-work ka. Okay. When you open up a website, okay, today, and this is something you will tell your client, by the way. I'm gonna open a website and I'm going to show you the website and this is what consists Does your client have the bad luck? Consistency. You're selling stuff online and you should have the bad luck. Actually, yung HTTP niya dapat HTTPS. Do you see that? It's Reddit, by the way. So, yung HTTP ng website ng client mo, dapat naka-activate yung HTTPS niya. Hindi ilang HTTP. Actually, yung sa akin, naka-off. Okay? Okay? It's, it's been turned off. Now, you might say, ay, Jor, hirap gawin yan. Um, ay, hindi, actually, hindi mahirap yan. Binibili lang yan. Yung HTTPS, binibili lang yan sa domain uh, server kung saan, sa kabum- saan bumili yung client mo ng .com. So, if you're a virtual professional and you don't even know how to turn on the HTTPS, then that's a problem. Do you know why? In today's world, all websites must have HTTPS. It's like a rule now. All. So, sobrang praning ng mga tao ngayon, hindi lang e-commerce website dapat may HTTPS. Lahat. By the way, mine doesn't have it. Why? Um, uh, I'm doing it. It's not easy. Okay, it's not easy. But sa, sa system ang binili ko kasi, it, pang developer kasi yung binili kong account, my Virtual Careers Book website is a developer account, meaning computer programmer account. So it's not as easy to set up an HTTPS kesa bumili kayo sa GoDaddy. Ang dali-daling mong set up ng HTTPS. Magbabayad lang si client maging HTTPS. That's what I mean by consistency. Very, very simple. Very, very small thing. The S, just the HTTPS, will make people trust a client. Consistency is... Um, pag yung client mo meron siyang official colors, you know, blue and orange, dapat lahat ng gawin niya, blue and orange. Yung libro niya, blue and orange. Yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang website, blue and orange. Yung kanyang button, blue and orange. You know what I mean? It's all about absolute consistency. And the person who does that sobra is uh, Rich Dad, si Robert Kiyosaki. When you go to his website, and he actually shows uh, a lot of consistency regarding is or yellow orange and violet yes or no because it's all consistent so that's very very simple show consistency you know and you got it you got it. You know, consistency, you get one aspect of getting the sale. Do you want me to continue? Shall we talk about Bitcoin? Consistency, that's the little that matter. Okay. In, in my course, um, Influence 101, uh, we will be talking more about that. Okay. Because Influence 1-1 happens in August, by the way. We're going to be talking a lot more about that. But not just that. 
all the other things that matters when it comes to uh, uh, getting influence and making sure that whatever you're doing autopilot, malakas yung influence. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one right now. After after consistency is this concept called likability. Ano ba yung likability? Uh, this is so funny because it's actually consistently done by public speakers who are really pros. Yung professional speaker talaga. By the way, hindi ako yun. Okay? I'm not a professional public speaker. I usually um, don't even rehearse. A long time ago, I, I, now I rehearse, but a long time ago I used to never rehearse. Therefore, I'm not a pro. Mga, ang mga pro yung mga nagre-rehearse, magagaling talaga sila, like Brother Bo. Yung mga nagsasabing magaling sila, hindi sila nagre-rehearse, they don't know their potential, like me. By the way, wh wh why did I mention public speaking? Uh, because, ang likability is using nouns. Everybody type the word noun. Alam niyo yung word na noun? Patinig ba yun o katinig? Pakisabi nga sa akin, ano yung noun sa Tagalog? So, it's, likability is using nouns that relate. Okay? That relates. Or in other words, same, same tayo. Same, same tayo. Okay. Uh, uh, Isabel, alam ko. Ah, pangalan. So, whenever you present the website, present the client, present the product, always use patinig that are hashtag same, same tayo with the client or the buyer. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Hi, my name is John Marie Lario. I am a father of four kids. I live in the Philippines. My two sisters are OFWs. One is permanently an OFW. I only see her twice every 10 years. In everything I said that was a patinik, how many did you relate to? Number one. Did you have children? Number two, are you related to one of W? Number three, are you in the Philippines? Number three, four, are you a father or a mother? I could have said parent. That would have been a better patini. Likeability is ability, is not even an ability. It's using patinis or nouns that the buyer uses to describe himself or herself. Do you get? Do you get? If the buyer describes himself as an X, you know, XBPO, and you happen to be an XBPO, how would you describe yourself? Hi, I'm Jomar. I'm a athlete. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jomar. I'm a what? I love playing piano. Hindi. If the buyer is an XBPO, you describe yourself as huh? XBPO. That's why it's so important to know who's buying. Because you're going to look for what's what the client or the book you know, has or the product has. And what the buyers, they have in common. And you have to mention that in the website. And the website that sells, for example, just like you, I am a struggling employee for more than 10 years. I could say that. Because, raise your hand, how many of you are employees? I've been an employee for 16 years. Can't even remember. Is it 16 or 18? I'm not sure. Get on. That's like ability. Sobrang simple, just like consistency. You just need to use the right patinigs or pangalan. Pangalan! Pangalan, di patinig. Pangalan. I'm sorry, pasensya na. At least, you know, something di ako magaling. Tagalog. <laughs> All right, next one is external evidence. Oh, you found you, you saw this, no? Did you notice this was also found in the virtual careers book? External evidence. This is the third, third letter. What is that? External evidence is somebody else actually believes in you. Somebody else actually mentions the product. Somebody else actually liked the service. 
just that even you just have to create actually create decrate actually find or interview customers okay yung iba nga hindi pa hindi pa lang interview yung customers nila in interview nila ang customers ng competition because if they're offering the same thing they, you can go ahead and interview the competition because if you're offering the same thing it's probably the same comment okay and that's what external evidence does it nakita ka ng video na panay magician if you do not see a video that says hey this magician is really honest is really good i trust this magician you will not buy from the magician even if nakakita ka ng napakagandang show sa internet na libre because there's no external evidence we tend to trust strangers which is really weird to validate strangers we need strangers to tell us that they're really good okay so that's that's actually is super effective i'll tell you a true story i will hide the identities um two parents went to a school and and in when they came to the school there was another parent there gets gets and that parent talked to them and hey you know galing dito na anak ko and this were this is where my kids also study and then in comes the principal right and the principal tries to sell them the school but the principal tumahimik siya and then the the parent started selling the school get it get yung yung isang parent na mag-isa so yung couple pumunta sa school diba they met the single parent that single parent started selling the school to the to the couple Guess what? The couple said, "Wow, ang galing. Bumili sila dun sa school." You know what the problem with the story was? Sabi mo, ano ang secret ng story na yan? This is a adapted from a true story. The external evidence was so effective that the principal didn't need to talk. The other the other parent sa kanila lang nakinig yung dalawang yung dalawang dumating na bago yung dalawang yung couple and it turned out pala that parent had a had a son in the same school is also a teacher in the school kakainis <laughs> kakainis yan yan tawag na disingenuous kasi parent ka nga teacher ka rin pala so da it's different eh it really has to be external It cannot be internal evidence. My employee said, we're the best company. That doesn't work. My customers, that works. Okay? So that's the secret. Don't do that. Okay? The next lesson, the next letter here is, okay? yes, Alan Joseph, this is called tons of testimonials. Can you just help us out and say the word tons of testimonials? Isang tunaladang testimonial. It never fails it never fails sobra okay let's go to the next one again if you want in depth for this i do go through it in very very modern examples a lot of screenshots in my influence course influence 101 course happening in august so uh so i'm teaching you this telling you that there's actually more if i want to teach you more in my influence course in August. I think it's going to be in August 12. I'm not sure, pero around that time. Okay. So this this course Influence 101 is uh you can get a discount to a Influence 101 course if you get the autopilot course happening just Ju July 22 because if you put them together we call them the awesome masterclass. Awesome. Kasi kung may autopilot ka, tapos meron kang influence ang tawag ko na doon, awesome. Okay? <laughs> Kaya yun ang nangyari doon. Okay? So, let's go to the next one. Tons of testimonials. You might say, Jomar, alam ko na yan. Yeah. Uh, pakisabi nga, alam is not, is not equal to ginawa. We always respect people who've done it before, who've done it in a big way, but there are many, many people who's actually not done it and just brag uh, that they know it knowing will not get you income Pakasabi nga, i need to apply before i earn <laughs> if you just know hindi mo in apply you're not gonna earn so um can we just be consistent and say yes i want to earn from this yeah and the easiest way to earn is encourage your client to i know to have tons of testimonials by the way on a side note the easiest way No, para magkaroon ng tons of testimony ang client mo, 
is to help the client get Thrive Teams. Okay? Diba today, I'm, I'm telling, telling you guys about Thrive Teams. And Thrive Teams actually has this, you know, has this function called Thrive Ovation. Okay? And the Thrive Ovation is a great tool you can use to gain external evidence using a WordPress blog. Okay, and it helps you, the virtual professional, um, madaling work because hindi ka nahihirapan. Nasaan na ba yung mga testimonial ng client ko? Because it's all in Thrive Ovation. You just have to insert it there. Even the formatting is up, set up for you. So hindi ka nahihirapan na i-manage yun. Um, if you really want the, your you know, my impressive si client, you know, para ka charge ka ng $77 an hour. Pag-aralan mo yung Thrive Ovation and then you run it for your client. Sabi sa kanya, if your sales do not do not increase because of this, you can uh, fire me. Mga ganyan gimmick kasi this is one of the big influence um uh, psychological triggers yung external evidence. Super super duper malakas yan. Bakit type nga malakas to? Kasi I'm telling you um, it's not just, okay, mag-gather ka ng testimonials. I'm also telling you the tool you need to use, okay? The, t- the tool you need to use is the Thrive Themes, Thrive Ovation, okay? So here is the link to that. Okay. I think Thrive Ovation is much more uh, than getting the entire Thrive annual. Um, pero you want to be able to use the entire package of Thrive para mas malakas yung, ano mo, pwede mong tawagin sarili mong Thrive expert. Even after three months lang, kasi madaling gamitin. Malakas sobra to, and, and we, all of us, including me, we are convinced that products are good because of external evidence. Okay, moving, moving na. Okay, go. Second to the last. Ay, meron pa pala. Hindi pa second. Third to the last. The next one is authority. Okay? So what have we discussed? We've discussed about consistency, likability, external evidence, and authority. And authority is you telling the story of why should, hindi naman actually you, the client, you, you make the client appear to answer this question. Why should your client be the person they will buy from? Hindi ibig sabihin because of, hindi, hindi ibig sabihin because of ano, testimonials. This is about the qualifications of the client. And can you just help yourself by typing the word qualifications equals past. Past. So ano ba yung past? Di ba tapos? Past problems. Okay? Past stories. Past experiences of the client. So the client is selling, for example, tutorials on how to play a musical instrument online, let's say violin, okay? or electric guitar, or how to do trance music. Okay? You need to mention the number of years of experience ng client. You need to mention how many views yung YouTube videos niya, uh, play siya ng violin, or, na, or you need to mention yung records niya regarding yung kanyang skill na ituturo dun sa kanyang course. Okay? Most of your clients will have courses to sell. And you need to always mention, hey, this, this client is selling a homeschooling course because he's been homeschooled and is already homeschooling five children for the last 10 years. All that establishes authority. It has nothing to do with ano, external evidence. Yung lang past ng clients na pwedeng i-relate. That's why when you have, when you have, ano, I, I attended my first PTA meeting. So funny. Okay. My homeschool kami, may PTA pa. <laughs> and and they had to introduce the the the, the kids ah, sorry the teachers kung ano yung BS degree nila doon mo malalaman ko yung school meron bang BS education doon o hindi are the teachers educated to teach um, that's that's authority so that's our example of authority do not take it for granted these these triggers are very important in selling online the second to the last is reciprocation. Ayan. So what is reciprocation? Ang haba naman ng word. So reciprocation is 
giving giving knowledge giving understanding this is the reason why some people have invested in blockchain or bitcoin why because they attend the seminar and the seminar is like let's say two hours long one and a half hours of that is orienting you on the greatness of bitcoin for example all right so can i show you an actual thing right now can we do that now so i'm gonna show you some bitcoin stuff and my impress kayo and bibili kayo ng bitcoin all right <laughs> example lang. all right so this is reciprocation i'm gonna demo to you reciprocation let's say i am selling you a bitcoin something something whatever it is You, the great thing about Bitcoin and you know, the blockchain, blah, 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 you should invest, but we will not tell you to invest. We will not tell you to, you should keep the money in your wallet. Okay, you know what I'm saying? All of this is part of your teaching. Instead, I need you to sit down and for one and a half hours, I need you to understand first. You know, this, I, we understand that you are a smart investor. I'm using nouns. I'm using nouns. You get me? You are a smart investor. Smart investor, ka ba? that's a noun, right? And since you are a smart investor, you know uh, you can think for yourself. You don't have any, to have anyone tell you what to do. You can analyze and tell me at the end of today if this investment opportunity is good or not. Oh, yes, ba? Okay, man? Uh, convinced na ba kayo na I, it, uh, you, I have your best, ano, best, I, uh, best interest in mind all these words that i'm using uh by the way the words i'm using they're cal calculated to keep you at ease and to make you believe me and nlp to pinagagawa ko sa inyo by the way i'm just doing a demo i'm not selling anything na bitcoin okay demo lang po ito that the stuff i'm you're about to hear or will be all true are you are you good good na kayo Demo natin, demo natin. So, what is reciprocation? I'm going to give you something first before I ask you to buy anything. So, so here it is. Um, help me naman. I'm going to talk about and orient you guys about Bitcoin now. Are you ready? Type no, we are ready to listen. I'm going to tell you about Bitcoin. Kunyari, nagbebenta ako ng Bitcoin. And I'm going to use all the influence stuff. I tinuro ko sa inyo because our, this part here is called reciprocation. Be, meaning to say, I need to give you knowledge first. Knowledge, hindi service, hindi, hindi, hindi burger. I'm going to give you knowledge first before I even ask you to buy anything. Because at the end, since I invited you to the seminar, sample seminar, of course, obviously, I'm going to invite you to to invest in something, but I need you to understand it first. Okay. So, halimbawa, ako yun. Everybody say, pretend lang ito, pero totoo lahat ang sasabihin ni Jomar. Okay. Pretend lang. I'm not selling anything Bitcoin. At the end of the webinar, I'm also not going to sell Bitcoin. I'm just giving you an example of reciprocation. Okay. Reciprocation. Did you know that the future is changing? Whereas before, if you want to send somebody to send large, large amounts of money to someone, you may need to go to the bank or transact to an online website or go to PayPal or Venmo or US Union or remittance or use your Gcash and your money goes from your bank to their bank and then it goes to other people. Now, we, because of our modern times, because of blockchain in bitcoin okay which is called digital currency everybody type the word digital currency you can now send money directly to people and pakisabi, what's the benefit because if you send money to traditional means there is a catch everybody type the word ano ang traditional the bank 
goes to the central bank, <laughs> the details of the your money goes to the central bank, goes to correspondent bank, goes to a correspondent bank, goes to central bank, and goes to a local bank. It can take one to five days transmitting from country to country if you're going to use the old ACH procedure using banks. In Bitcoin, you have money in the form of Bitcoin or maybe in the form of US dollars. You send the, you buy a Bitcoin using your US dollars and you do online and you send a human being also online and that human being just sells his Bitcoins and converts it to whatever currency he has. And the speed is from 7 to 45 minutes long. So, sang ka pa, di ba? Using this Bitcoin based wires, wires actually transactions. Now, Bitcoin is just a single kind of digital currency. It's also the biggest digital currency. It's not the only one, but it's the most, parang long, longest running na, na, na system for transacting from person to person. Now, alam nyo ba, na pag ginawa niyan sa bank, they can take like 10% of your transaction. They're, they're going to take five days, they're also going to take 10%. For Bitcoin, the exchange rate, na, because we can use Bitcoin, is very, very few people are earning in the middle. Okay? That's just 1 to 2%, probably 2%. So, saan ka pa mag-remit ka? By the way, pwede ka na mag-remit through Bitcoin ngayon. Ah, sorry, hindi through Bitcoin, through blockchain. Again, Bitcoin is just a call gate of the toothpaste. Everybody type the word. Bitcoin equals call gate. Toothpaste equals blockchain. Okay. To type ko nga para sa inyo. Blockchain is the name of the technology. Katul ng toothpaste. Bitcoin is just a brand. Equals call gate. Brand lang yan. So, hindi Bitcoin based yan. Ang totoo niyan, it's blockchain based na transaction. It's very fast. And the transactions are, did you notice may bank pa rin? Pansin nyo? The transaction. So the banks don't disappear in this situation. You still need your euros, you still need your pesos. Okay. So the banks, you just get your money and buy Bitcoin online and then the person sells Bitcoin online receives it within the same hour within one hour. Maganda ba yung mabilis matanggap ni nanay ang pera mo? Online lang, di ba? Okay. Online, bilis, di ba? By the way, there are already remittance bit, uh, blockchain services out there like Abra that you can use today. Actually, tatlong taon na po yung Abra na remittance system. And, there, and the Philippines is actually the hotbed of remittance blockchain companies. Uh, para, it, di ba, ang remittance companies, yung mayaman sila, pagpapal lang ng pera. So, yung mga blockchain companies, uh, they're actually competing against these uh, remittance companies like Western Union, Pera Panala, because, uh, di ba, ang laki, laki, laki ng industry yan ng, ng remittance. It's like 200 million, no, sorry, 200 billion dollars worldwide ang remittance business. Okay? So, that's why uh, some companies are using blockchain technology to do this. Okay, I'm stopping. Did you get an understanding of one of the benefits of blockchain? Sabihin lang natin, benefits lang muna. Huwag natin explain yung technology. Kasi bleed knows po ang technology niyan. Do kaya kong explain for you. In whatever possible. <laughs> In whatever possible complication you want. Okay. Or pwede rin simplicity. Kaya, kaya. Kaya ko naman. Nga lang, hindi ko naman gustong i-focus yung topic today as Bitcoin or blockchain. But we will. We will. Okay. So, do you, do you get the benefit of, of this mobility transaction? Tapos, how many of you are gonna give me the link to your Bitcoin or coin coin or new coin or old coin websites that we can check today kung totoong ganito ba ito. Kung totoo bang scam ba yan, pinasok nyo o hindi. Pakisabi na lang sa chat room kung meron kayong kinoconsider ngayon or nag-invest na yung kakilala nyo. Huwag na lang kayo yung kakilala nyo. Bigay nyo sa akin yung website, I will tell you how to look for uh, possible scams regarding Bitcoin. Is that gonna be helpful for you? 
if you're not live in the webinar, you can join us. Just email us or go to John Hilary Virtual Careers Group and give us the name of the website you'd like to invest in so we can tell you, is this something you can get in today or not? Now, ang ginagawa ng mga tao dito, there are several ways to earn in Bitcoin or blockchain. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Do you want to know how to earn using this? And that's why some people are in value because there are ways to earn using this. But but my question mark yung coin PH. <laughs> I don't think you can buy anything from CoinPH. Let me check. Yeah, CoinPH is not a Bitcoin investment thing. This is a digital wallet. Nakakita na kayo ng GCash. Coins PH, pareho lang sila. Ginagamit lang nila yung ano, blockchain tech. Part of remittance. A cursory look at coins ph this is not your invest yes no this is not an investment tool. this is a parang remittance center or sending money from one person to another um, that sounds just like gcash yes life is about to get more convenient buy load pay bills from pay maya send and receive money shop online parang pay maya so is coins ph something new no it's just like PayMaya. They might have the word coins because they're using blockchain, but it's not something you invest in, okay? Go ahead, open a CoinsPH account. It's okay. It's up to you. So, hindi naman, hindi naman, walang problema as far as I'm concerned, okay? Um, fast and reliable, that's, that's all they're saying. So, these are all testimonials, right? As you can see. Uh, then natin mag about tayo. Boing, boing, boing. Uh, coins, da da da. This is not for you. So, yeah, they have the word coins, but I don't think it's anything to do with blockchain. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, meron siyang blockchain tech, sabi ko na So it's just a Bitcoin wallet. Okay? It's a Bitcoin wallet. Transaction to settle using blockchain. Yeah, that's it. Pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, mabilis lang. 45 minutes na yung mangyayari na agad. Madali lang. So, uh, 7 to 7, 45 minutes na transaction. Ganun lang. So para siyang limitans. So yung coins at PH. This is not something that you invest in. This is something you use to send stuff, okay? Teresa, hindi clear yung sinabi mo. Inoferan ka ng Bitcoin. If somebody sends you Bitcoin, it's like telling me, it's me telling you, hey, I'm going to give you three, ano, I'm going to give you 1,400 pesos. Parang, parang ganun. So, what does that mean? I don't understand. Okay, so that's... Uh, Coins at PH, answer your, one of your questions. This is just like Gcash, only it's faster. Okay? Is it going to change your life? Probably not. Okay. So let me just uh, look for something else to show you. Meron akong mga kilala na sabi nila nag-invest sila at gusto nilang paramihin yung investment nila. I need to know saan kayo nag-invest uh, para I can help understand what your view, ano pinasok ninyo. Of course, kung ayaw nyo masaktan, hindi ko sasabihin sa kanila kung sino kayo. Importante, ma-check ko kung ano yung pinasok ninyo investment with regards to this one. Only because I understand how this works. Okay? Anyway.
pure. It's hard to hack, sabi nila. Um, and it's, it's extremely fast. And no government supposedly can block it. And it's also not involving any government. The transaction happens online. Okay? So, so blockchain transaction is supposed to be un- no, kuno lang naman, hindi naman totoo lahat ng unhackable eh. Parang Titanic, unsinkable. So, blockchain transaction, this is nosebleed. Uh, I want to stop here and discuss this next week. Okay lang kayo? <laughs> Bottom line, I just told you how it works. It's not easy to hack. It's actually extremely difficult to hack. Extremely expensive to hack. To the tune of 150 million US dollars, if you want to hack this, dapat merong kang ganong money and equipment and technology know-how para mahack mo tong system na to. You have to be really determined if you want to hack the entire uh, uh, system. And every year it gets more and more difficult to hack because that's the way it was done. It becomes more and more difficult to run. Actually, that's that's the design of uh, of blockchain. Blockchain, again, is toothpaste. Ang Bitcoin is one of the implementations or examples of blockchain. So, so nagbigay ng website, tingnan natin. Tingnan natin. I'm just checking out the website. Uh, just to tell you kung maganda ba. Uy. I mean, nakikita pala sa akin kanina, napakaganda talaga, nakakatawa. I'll show you. Uh, it's a complete scam. <laughs> Pasensya na nakakatawa. Total scam. Uh, be careful lang ma-open kayo ng mga word coin, ganyan-ganyan. Kasi, ano eh, they're just taking advantage of the blockchain or the Bitcoin or craze para maano, para maakit ko. I'm going to show you something that's totally wrong. Um, let me see, where is that? Okay, uh, here it is. One billion points. Ayan. So this one, yeah, it has a video. Wait, uh, I'm going to show it to you. I check this out, right? Welcome to a new era of encrypted money where value can be held confidently and transferred instantly. To- right. um, this is Ganun lang. Kita nyo kung totoo o hindi. Ganun lang. Maraming magtatanong eh. Ayan o. Oh. Scamadvisor.com, scam analyze, blah, blah, blah. And I already did the, you know, I already did the stuff. It's a Ponzi scheme. Okay? Ponzi scheme is completely legal in the Philippines. So, just telling you. That's how you find out, right? Or you can also do a coins PH. I mean, do that yun. Hindi naman eh. Three stars. It has a three star trust rating. Are there any uh, items you can see if it's scam or legit? Uh, apparently, it's not. So good. Okay? So that's very simple how to find out if it's real. Let's go look at another website. This is uh, USI Tech. And find out a new business opportunity. Okay. Mm, da, 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 da. Panay, panay, ano? panay high-end words. It's forex exchange market. This is not Bitcoin. I don't see blockchain. It's forex exchange. Let's do a search. No, then block. There's no block. Uh, so this one is forex exchange. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think this has anything to do with Bitcoin or blockchain. It's a forex. 
automated, ayun na, automated trading, automated trading systems for MNT, MP, and uh, trading for Forex. This is totally Forex. Um, only for mature uh, people uh, because you lose your money as quickly as you earn them. So you need to study this stuff before you can even understand it. Uh, Forex, this is not Bitcoin related. Let's look at FAQ. Wala. Walang word nga na ano yun na. Walang word na block. I mean, it has to mention blockchain. Okay. Kung walang word na blockchain, wala. Walang, walang mangyayari. I'll talk about uh, ano, mining mamaya. So I'm going to go to another website here. And it's HKTM. Ayan. So this is supposedly a Bitcoin ATM, which is really weird because there's Bitcoin is not touchable. It's not really physical. Bitcoin is digital. It cannot be physical. Okay? Bitcoin has nothing to do with gold. It's actually more connected to the US dollars than anything. Okay, so if you they're giving you a Bitcoin that really looks like coin, task kilay. And we're just gonna apply the same thing. Go to Google, type the word scam, and type in the website to find out are they scamming there. <laughs> so you know, beware. Uh, stuff like that. So you know, basayo. What does it say? No, what does it say? Is it real? Is it not? But I'm telling you, um, hindi pwedeng maging physical ang um, uh, ang Bitcoin. Okay, hindi pwede. It's, it's super, super not walang connect. Okay, somebody offers you a coin that looks like a Bitcoin. You have to run very fast in the opposite direction. Okay? Because it's not, it's not a physical coin. It's digital. It's a long string of numbers. Super long string of numbers. Okay. Next is, type natin, scam. The next company, I, IH, ICHFC. Kaya nyo nang gawin to, di ba? Kung malalaman nyo, type the word scam, eh, LCHFC. Then you can figure that out. Right? A digital currency scam is misusing the Rothschild family name, Poinkers. Now you know. See? To read it's very easy so i'm actually just doing google in front of you um wait up then you put it sorry where is it where's my website FC. Ano ba yan? Scam advisor, zero comments. It's probably very new. LCHFC is a fake site. Is it real? Hindi ko alam. So you just read up here if what you can see here. Um, if you just go to the website, let's see what happens. I can tell you na lang from looking at it naman eh. I went to the website and it tells me that my system is infected with three viruses. Peter, unang una pa lang alam mo na. Is this supposed to be your investment website? I went to LCHFC. The 
I want to leave. I want to leave it. Okay. <laughs> so Leo, uh, LCHFC is obviously doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> Uh, coin mark. Ah, okay, let's go. Let's go to there. Okay. Okay. Here, this is what we are. Um, cryptocurrency uh, capitalizations. And this is the name of mga ano, mga candidate na mga coins, uh, cryptocurrencies. Number one, ng Bitcoin. This will actually try to mesmerize you by the large amount of numbers. That you don't understand. <laughs> so, there's Ethereum, there's Bitcoin, there's Ripple, there's Litecoin, there's Ethereum Classic, there's Dash, there's Nema, there's Auto. These are like currencies, like peso, dollar, dinar, you know, all that stuff. You see that? Um, it's trying to tell you, kung yari kinokon ng kita na, wow, ang ganda ng Bitcoin. May sarili silang exchange, may sarili silang mga currency, para silang countries, but actually hindi. Now is the time for you, for me to tell you all about what it really is. Okay. Teresa, hindi naman talaga virus yun eh. Joke lang yun. Niloloko ka lang. Yung LCFHE, punta natin ulit. Ay, hindi na pwede. <laughs> hindi naman talaga yan. Every time you go there, it will tell you you have a virus. But you don't. Okay. It's just, it's just kalakohan. It's that person who, who gave us that link probably didn't know na or probably knows that this is just a complete scam website, the LCHFC. Obvious ba? Okay. Anyway, um, so this is a market cap website. Doesn't help you. Everybody say the word. It's impressive, but it doesn't help me. Do you know why? What numbers mean? Yeah, down now. All it does tell you, these are the legit coins. So we're going to go to the actual discussion now of how do you earn from it or can you earn from it yes or no who wants to know how do you earn from it or can you earn from it i'm going to make it very simple at the same time talk about mining talk about uh, nodes talk about and I'll leave some of the other issues for next week okay ba kayo okay hindi pa ako tapos sa six letters ah <laughs> Pero it's towards the end because that's the purpose of it. In 10 minutes. Are you game? We, we end in 10 minutes. But I, I hope I was able to give some clarity to you guys. Okay? Kung paano. So ito yung mga legal. Pero yung mga not legal, pinakita ko sa inyo kanina yung ang bilis mo masyado. So ito, kalokohan yung bibigyan ng actual na coin. Kalokohan yan. Kasi hindi talaga kinakoin ng ATM. The Billion Coin Project, this one is also fake. This is a Ponzi scheme. Not because I told you so, but because if you go to scam the Billion Coin, Billion Coin Project, um, you will see people talking about it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, see? Yes, it is a scam. Hindi lang yan, marami. Haba yan, mahaba. Okay? The Billion Coin Project. That's a scam. They just use the word coin to make you feel nice. Part of Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. Blockchain, pero hindi. Oh, it's just an example of the billion coin project being fake. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Itong website na to. Totally not related to blockchain. Oh, yeah. How do you earn? Some people are doing this as a speculative... Uh, ito yung billion coin pa rin. Speculative investment. Ano? Um, do you want to be a smart investor or a investor that loses all his money? Wala naman kayong choice, ano? So, isa sa mga big advices ng mga investors na magagaling, sabi nila, tulad ni Warren Buffett, an investor who actually also lost money and does lots of risky things. <laughs> um, the only reason why you go to speculative investment, meaning is you think it will go up, right? Because na convince ka ng seminar, no? Ng seminar na na 
wow, ganda niyan, tataas siya, tataas siya, tataas siya. And that's really true. That's what they're saying about uh, Bitcoin, uh, the, the most popular kind of ano, digital currency. Now, some people are putting their money in and they're hoping that the the value of the money increases. So let's try to see if that's true. Bitcoin um, trend versus dollar. I look for trend. Ah, yeah. Yeah, na. Kita na. Oh, yeah. So this is a graph of Bitcoin value. Here, ito na. Kita na. Versus the US dollar. And it's around 2,000 something dollars today. Now, you you might be saying, wow, ang ganda, grabe, kailangan na ako sumali dyan. Tataas na yan. It's gonna go to the moon. Everything that I just said is said by losers. When people are saying words like, grabe, it's gonna go skyrocket high. Naku, sumakay ka na, paakit na to. Ang tawag doon, ini-scam ka nila. Okay? So, if the graph looks like that, and if you're studying investments, and investments are something to do with money and people and emotions, that's it. Money, people, emotions. Then you know you should not do anything. Sabi nga nung isang quote from my Instagram marketing class, uh, money, uh, investment is where people, it was where money changes hands from people who are impatient to people who are patient. Charlie Munger ata nagsabi na. So if you're impatient, gusto mo na kumita ng malaki, bibili ka ng Bitcoin ngayon. $2,000 per coin. Sino may gusto ng $2,000 per coin? Si Tarjus, pag ginawa akong stocks yan, hindi niyo bibili niyan eh. Bumili ka nga ng stock, $2,000 per stock. Eh yung PLDT nga na 1,000 pesos, hindi niyo mapatulan. Yung $2,000 per stock pa. Which, who, how many of you have $2,000 of speculative money? Meaning money you can, you know, can, you can say goodbye for the next 10 years too. So, um, most smart investors stay away from speculative investment. You usually use yung speculative investment kung meron ka extra money talaga. Meaning, you have already have fixed investments in the right places, no? Meron long term, may short term, may risky, may non risky. Pero magbibigay ka ng $2,000, one, one Bitcoin, kasi hintay mo siyang umakyat. Siguro okay lang if you can afford to lose the $2,000. Okay, docs? So that's just today. That's just today. Ngayon, uh, tanong, can, can I ask you a question? So the first way to earn in Bitcoin, actually it's not even Bitcoin. It's, 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 it's really in Bitcoin kasi there are no other ways to earn. <laughs> <laughs> Kung hindi Bitcoin ang pag-uusapan, um, pwede kang mag kumuha ng Litecoin and all that other junk, but um, they're not as popular as Bitcoin. So mag invest ka, bibili ka to buy Bitcoins to the tune of, of $2,000. How many of you wants to do that? Buy Bitcoin. Kailang to buy one, you need two thousand dollars. And some some scammer will tell you, and then you don't need that. You can just use uh, partial. No? Bili ka ng small ano small parts of the Bitcoin. Merong tiyatang satoshis, and those are the parang cents of the Bitcoin. Yeah, you can buy that, right? You don't have to buy a a whole Bitcoin. And it goes against this big, big concept called do not buy what you do not understand. In investment, if you understand a whole market, the whole ecosystem, like I, for example, better than I do, then go ahead, speculate your money. Okay? But I don't recommend you do. No. So they give away their money or they invest in Bitcoin. And anong sa recommendation ni Joe Marjan? Speculative investment po yan, sabi nga ni Jert. That's illusion. You'll probably just lose your 100,000 pesos. So sorry if you just try to do that. Okay, that's the first way to earn 
and uh, I don't recommend it. Sorry, X triple X. Okay, second way to earn. Ready? Oh, pwede rin, wag na, wag na. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's go to the last letter. Gets? Second way to earn, gold mining. Bagot na. <laughs> Technical na. <laughs> so, the second way to earn is actually isa lang to. Genesis mining lang. Um, there's this company called Genesis Mining. They they would love you to give them money so they can they can uh, you can earn from bitcoins. Okay, here's the catch. It's just one company. <laughs> it's just one company. You don't have a lot of choices because the entire concept of Bitcoin is kind of like very new. Okay, and and it there is a concept called mining inside the bitcoin community okay i'm going to talk about mining kasi kayo na pa hinihintay ni Jay baka tumigil na si Jay sa uh, wait Jay, i'm talking about Jay Castillo who wants to i don't know dapat hindi ni Jay yung mining eh. but anyway because he's like a techie but anyway let me talk about mining a bit not the whole thing okay Ang gagawin kasi dito para kayong paluwagan. Okay? The concept of mind third four and third four and five na ano, na na block diyan. So, the first thing you need to understand is I want to send money to B. A wants to send money to B. Number two, to send money from a person A to person B, each person must have a key. A key. It's a very, very long number. It's just a long number. So, pag kinumbayan yung dalawang key, two long numbers become one massive long number, right? Because they're just long numbers. So, the two numbers, they combine, usually prime numbers actually. And when they combine, it it ibig sabihin ng dalawa na yon, it's they're exchanging money, for example. Sometimes they just exchange information or email. Pero in the case of blockchain, the money is transferred from A to B. And can you see this icon na, blue, na green? Can you see the blue, green icon and the blue icon? Can you see that? And can you see the blue, I, the blue check and the green check? Okay. Can you see those? In... Yung, yung tumitingin at saka yung nag-check, those are other other computers. When when the two people exchange money, it's seen by a lot of computers around the world. It's seen. So, ang nakikita nila yung long num long set of numbers ng A is kumokombine dun sa long set of numbers ng B para magkaroon ng transfer of money. And they're, slick, they're seeing it. And then, some of them, they're not just seeing it, they're checking it. You see the blue check and the green check. Yung blue check and green check, those are the... Uh, uh, let me check. <laughs> let me check. I know. Some of those are minors, some of those are nodes. Okay? To, be, to put it very, very simple, yung minors, they compute. Sila na nagko-compute. How, how, anong klaseng computation? They're trying to figure out if this is a legit transaction. Because uh, a legit transaction is like this. I send you money. So let's say I send $100 to you. I cannot send the same $100 to someone else. Because like, napadala ko na sa'yo, di ba? So ganun yung sinicheck nila. They're checking the transaction. Is this, has this person sent the $100 before? Kung hindi pa, he can send this hundred dollars to this person B now. So those are the checkers. The checkers are the miners. So let's call them checkers. And if you are a miner, you normally need to have super high tech equipment. And usually, uh, it's around two thousand. Yeah. 
If you don't believe me, I will show you. So that equipment, you need that equipment para makamine ka or magcheck. And, and that equipment must be stored in your house. So ang ginawa ng mga people, instead of, you know, equipment in your house, they just pulled together and sabi, okay, ano, share-share na lang tayo. Okay? Hindi na lang kami, hindi ka na lang bibili ng equipment na minor equipment. Okay, um, we have ant miners. You just pay us. So that's Genesis Mining does that. No, um, you have to pay to be a part. Kukuha lang share dun sa ant miner which they bought for three thousand dollars. And kung ano man yung kita ng ant miner, which that is a computer by the way. The only thing that does is check. It check transactions. This is a transaction on blockchain or Bitcoin, whichever it is. Uh, it just checks the transaction kung legit. Did, did person A send $100 to someone else in the past? No? Go ahead. Send to person B. So yung, yan, you're looking at it and you're saying, wow, $3,000, hindi ko nga kayang bilhin yan. Correct. Therefore, you just go join a pool. P-O-O-L. Paluwagan. Can you type the word paluwagan? And when you do that, um, you're supposed to earn. Okay? You're supposed to earn a share of how much this uh, miner earns because the blockchain or the bit pareho lang yung blockchain bitcoin system uh, it it rewards the miners because they're the ones doing the work parang sweldo si sweldo han ng sistema na uh, let me show you again the system Person A gives this long set of numbers to person B. Person B gives a long set of numbers to person A. It's combined together in the middle, number three. Tapos, credit to Standard Chartered for the picture. Thank you very much. And then when that transaction comes and person A's number is combined to person B, uh, approximately 7,000 computers, less than 7,000 computers today, will see the transaction. Okay? approximately around that number, less than that number. Some of those computers will check the transaction. Not all, some. Okay? And uh, will validate kung totoo bang nangyari itong transaction, totoo bang dapat ipadala ni person A yung pera niya kay person B. Because it's digital currency, hindi siya nahahawakan. It's very possible for me to send you the money and send another person the money. But because of the checking done by almost 7,000 computers as of 2017, July, they need to be compensated. They need to be paid for their quote-unquote work. The miners, they get paid. The nodes, they just pass on the information and do some light checking. They don't get paid. So if you want to earn from, um, from this blockchain Bitcoin, you need to become a miner. That's the second thing. The system will pay you as a miner. And, and the best way to be a miner is to paluwagan ng mining, okay? So which, which means you will pay a certain amount to Genesis Mining, okay? And hope man, you know, I mean, actually just have one choice today, okay? And, and, and. And what you're getting yourself into. $50, $500. Do you understand what you're getting? $2,000. Do you understand what you're getting yourself into? There is a two-year contract for this one. Okay? Two-year contract. I don't know what that means, actually. Okay? I don't know what that two-year contract means. And what happens if you get your Bitcoin? Here's the big thing. Once you you get your Bitcoin. Let's say you earn from Genesis Mining. What are you going to do with your Bitcoin? Yeah, it's very complicated. I'm trying to give you my nicest, simple ap approach. Here's the catch today. Today, uh, tomorrow, siguro hindi. Genesis Mining is the only website you can probably trust today when it comes to pooled mining. 
Probably. Because most of the companies who do as pool mining is very new. Si Genesis siguro mga four years na sila or something. So, three to four years. So, I'm not sure. Okay? Um, you know, you could find that out. If that's true, just go to ano, archive.org. And find out how long a website has been existing. You can even see the changes. I'll go to archive and then go to Genesis mining. And you'll know 2014 lang sila nag exist. So, you know, you, know, you, you don't have to check how long they've been around. It's 2000, late 2014 um, Genesis mining. And they're like the most trustworthy old mining thing you can get. Uh -huh. Now, by the way, we're going to talk about mining like for fun next week. Technical and simple. I'm going to do my best. Anyway, so you can earn through mining, pooled mining. Here's my biggest question. Everybody say, biggest question. Once you earn your Bitcoin, sabi mo, you can convert it to dollars. Yes or no? Can you? What do you think? You sell it, okay? You sell it. So it's just like, just like stock market. Like in coins.ph, you can actually do that. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Pero pag ginawa mo yan, remember, you're trying to deal with it just like the stock market. You need to sell it when the price is good, when the price is gusto mo, right? So you can go to like coin, a, a website like Coins. If you notice, not everyone goes dump their money into the stock market. Basta basta. It's just like that. Getting into something like Bitcoin, getting a Bitcoin for yourself because also it's like you Getting into stock market kasi uso is the same kind of risk. The risk is high because you don't understand what you're doing. Okay? Now, I'm saying this because baka mag-earn ka ng Bitcoin. I'm also saying if you mine using Genesis mining and Genesis decides to, you know, disappear, ano habol mo? Ano habol mo? You understand me? Let's say, bumili ka ng stock, sa stock market PLDT. PLT decides to disappear. May habol ka ba? Probably not. Will PLT to disappear? Probably not. Tano, it's the same situation with Genesis Mining or any kind of old mining service. Is there a possibility that they will disappear? 2014 pa lang sila. They, pwede silang malugay, yes or no? What do you think? Yes or no? You know that the biggest cost of mining is not even the, the equipment. It's electricity because and heating and cooling because mining is so hot. Number two, mining is so noisy. Yung, yung computer na yun, ang pinakit ako sa anina, ang ingay-ingay niyan. Ay, ang ingay-ingay niyan. And so you need to secure, the, the mining place has to be far from people. It has to have cheap electricity. Yan. And all that stuff. Oh, yan, tinuma jerk. Yan, yan ang mga statements na napakasaya. In 2015, one Bitcoin is 12,000 pesos. Now, it's around 50,000 pesos. Without telling you, how do you earn one Bitcoin? Ayun, kasi walang expense. Guess nyo? Walang expense eh. So, if, if you say statements like, the Bitcoin is increasing. Pinakita ko sa inyo yung graph. The Bitcoin is increasing. The Bitcoin uh, is increasing. Yeah, no doubt. But if for someone who's been trained in, you know, understanding char charts and human psychology, okay, <laughs> I'm telling you that this trend here 
means do not buy. That's what it's saying. There is no trend. But up, when it's going up and you're crazy, you will buy. Uh, it, I, I spend a lot of money understanding that. So I, I do not want to tell you how to do it because it's magulo. Bottom line, I'm telling you my, my opinion from my training. We're not talking about Bitcoins anymore. We're talking about trend lines. It's just like the stock market because it's based on human emotions. Human emotions. Okay? And if you buy now, that's not a good time to buy because the history is not enough. Okay? Anyway. <laughs> uh, if, if at all, that is a signal na malapit na siyang mag-crash ulit. That's a crash. You see that? That's a 30% duck, duck crash. Yung last. Anyway. Ang boring na ng talk kasi ang natungkos sa Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a lot more. Do you want to learn more? There's only two ways to earn, actually. And the first one is invest in a Bitcoin uh, with your own peril. And sin bahala kayo. Another one is to okay. uh, I don't suggest you do any or the other. Now, you might say, Jomar, we're going to... suggest old mining i don't suggest ask me why I, I there is another aspect i haven't told you yet and over time now oh, sorry i'll just tell you na lang next week now i will tell you why next week One of the big things that they it's worldwide. There are millions of computers watching your transactions. Yes or no? What do you think? Nani ko na to eh. Millions of computers are watching your transaction. Blah, 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 blah. July 10, 2017, how many computers are watching your transaction? As of 8 o'clock kanina, do you know the answer? Remember, the more people watching the transaction, the more computers watching, the more secure it is, right? Kasi sabi nila, it's unhackable, kuno kuno. But in next week, I'll tell you the I'll tell you the answer to that, and I also tell you two stories which you you can actually Google today, okay? Of people nina nakawan ng Bitcoin. So it's digital currency. It's fairly straightforward to steal. It's not physical, kasi. You just have to connect to the internet, and if there is a Bitcoin sitting in your account, someone can steal your Bitcoin. And it has happened before. At least two instances, one massive. So th those are some hints of that I'm giving you an idea of what you're trying to get yourself into. The suggestion really is to understand it more before you can get yourself into it. Okay. So, umalis na yung maraming tao. There attend any event. If you attend any event and they're selling you something, they will tell you something important at the end. You need to buy this now. If you don't buy this now, you won't have any more opportunity. Yeah, may naklase. Walang masama doon. Do you know why? Um, it works. Totally works. 
at the end of each thing sell products on an autopilot. If there is a countdown timer, a scarcity thing that counts down, the people will say, hindi, kailangan ko nung sumakay dyan, sa aeroplano na yan, lilipad na to, lilipad na to, yung mga ganang statements, mga ganon, sinabi ko kanina itong sa Black Bitcoin, um, lilipad na to, ganyan. That actually helps people make a decision to buy immediately. Because there, there's a perception, everybody type the word, perception of scarcity. It doesn't have to be real scarcity. Um, I'm giving you ebooks. I'm selling ebooks. We have 100 copies. Impossible ebooks, you mean. Impossible you have 100 copies left of ebooks, right? But if you have a, if you have a, a countdown, no? And it's counting down, it's very close, it's very close. People tend to panic and say they want to buy it again, lalo na if it's near the end of the deadline. So it will only work, the autopilot system will only work. I'm back to autopilot, by the way, I'm almost done. It will only work if you have a set countdown clock counting down to the deadline, and there's always a deadline. This, ang concept na to ay evergreen na learn in the autopilot 101 course this July 22. Okay? So, let me just review. It's C for consistency, L for likability, E for external evidence, A for authority, R for reciprocation, and S for scarcity. With credit to Mr. Invented to? Robert Cialdini. It's not entirely his, because I have a longer one, actually. Uh, some of the stuff here is from Robert Cialdini's influence book, but I have a longer list. And you're going to learn all about it in my Influence 101 event in August. Okay? So consistency, likability, external, authority, reciprocation, scarcity, it spells, the six letter spells clear. And I made that up. It's my framework for influence. Uh, there's a longer version of this that you will learn with even more detail, again, in the Influence 101 course in August. So there you have it. I tried to insert as much as I can, cryptocurrency, uh, blockchain, yeah, a lot of Bitcoin and this six letters you need to learn regarding setting up an autopilot influence system. Remember, if your message in your boost post doesn't have all these elements or doesn't have most of it, when they click over to the website, you don't have external evidence. There is no reciprocation involved. You're not giving them something first. There's no scarcity. There's, they don't like the things they see there, the nouns, and there's no consistency like HTTPS, you're not likely to get a autopilot sale. But if you do, the autopilot just happens. And I've been doing autopilot sales for like 2015. So it still works. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm inviting you to go uh, get more details next week. And also, okay, for you guys to learn more about autopilot income and the influence masterclass, do get the awesome masterclass which is a combination of both, okay? So my awesome masterclass is both Autopilot 101 and Influence 101. And this allows you to get the two courses for the price of one. Um, this is happening. This The classes are happening in July 22, that's Saturday. And again, there's a webinar on a few weeks after that. I can't remember when. <laughs> And um, the webinar is going to be on the 19th of July, uh, 26th, 26th of July. So two meetings in July for Autopilot 101. And for August, we have the August 12th and August 23 for the 
Influence 101 course. So put them together. It's called the Awesome Masterclass. We will learn, you will learn more about this next week. Okay, dogs? Uh, but to be early bird, just go and join. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for joining. I'll see you next week. We'll talk more about that Bitcoin something. I'll even do a seminar if you really want to understand it. There is a lot more here. I have a list of 13 questions you need to answer if you ever want to get, you really want to invest in the Bitcoin thing. Kung, you know, gusto mo talaga, I have a list of 13 questions you need to ask. We'll discuss that next week. Okay, dogs? Till then, thank you very much for joining and thank you for learning for your family. God bless. Do me a favor, check out virtualcareersacademy.com slash p slash awesome so you can get the awesome masterclass. Bye.